there's no getting around it. Requiring an IBM database subsystem to be on the same LPAR as your transaction subsystem means organizations have to pay for and maintain multiple duplicate subsystems. Sure, you may be protecting against a failure or downtime, but that also means you're paying a heck of a lot more in monthly MLC costs, whether you like it or not. If database subsystems like DB2 and IMS should happen to fail, those transactions waiting for data from the database subsystem could be delayed, affecting your organization's ability to complete critical business processes. What if there was a way to push these requests for data to another LPAR running DB2 or IMS? The transaction could continue to process work even though its local database is not available. Sub-Zero can help organizations do exactly that, optimizing the way these subsystems talk to each other to improve failover capability. Built using IBM standard APIs, Sub-Zero is completely safe and secure. No application changes are needed, plus your level of redundancy is often improved. Sub-Zero simply routes requests to another LPAR in the event a database subsystem goes down. Sub-Zero allows for uncompromising availability, empowering organizations to safely optimize subsystem placement, improve redundancy, and lower MLC costs.